What have you given the power to, to determine your worth, your value, how you feel about yourself, to make you feel whole, enough, and sufficed? Where have you placed the power to give you those things? One of the greatest contributing factors to people's lack of inner freedom, inner peace, inner stability and security is that they have placed an extensive amount of power into things outside of them, into people, into circumstances, external factors to make them feel whole, more whole, more enough, more nourished, more um, worthy. And the reality is, is that our inner freedom and inner peace and wholeness cannot come from things that God can easily take away, cannot come from things that are the creation, that are temporary. Yes, we can feel, we can be enriched, you know, by external circumstances. Yes, people can compliment us. People can add beauty to our lives. People can, you know, we, we are not created to be by ourselves, right? We are not, we are, we are creatures of connection. And those things add value and beauty to our lives. But our inner worth, our wholeness is not dependent on something that God can take away. What do I mean by that? In the Quran, God teaches us that, you know, the most successful people on the day of judgment are those who come back to God with what? A sound heart. That not wealth nor children, basically anything external is going to benefit his creation except one who brings back to God Kalbin Salim, a sound heart or a whole heart in other translations. Salim, something that is complete, put together. So I want to ask you this. Would God ask you to come back to him with a sound heart, a whole heart, and then depend your wholeness on things that are temporary, on things that he could take away. We can enjoy all the blessings that God has given us, and we are meant to enjoy them. And they are all are meant to point to, to him and his mercy and his greatness and his love for us. But those things, those external beauties he adds to our life, those external things you are waiting for, those external um, material things that you think you need, they are not the reason for your wholeness. And God will show you through trial and error and tests after tests that your wholeness does not come from those things. You feeling sufficed internally does not come from those things. And so a big part of our journey and one of the great, one of the concepts that I work on extensively with students in, in the God in Me program is taking back their power from, you know, the thing, from things outside of them to give them their worth, to give them the sense of wholeness. And part of this journey that I focus on is not just learning the psychological and spiritual knowledge and tools that can help us do that, but also engaging in the process of unlearning, unlearning what no longer serves our path, unlearning the beliefs that we have that have made us attach our worth to things that are outside of us. And so the process of taking back our power, it begins by us turning inward and reflecting and assessing and having the self accountability and us being honest with ourselves and asking ourselves, where have I placed the power to feel more, for me to feel worthy, for me to feel whole, for me to feel um, enough? Where have I placed that power? And it starts with asking ourselves this question because many of us without realizing have attached our worth to things that are outside of us, to things that are, ex you know, external, but also like temporary to circumstances, to people's approval, to material things. Everybody has a different thing in which they may be attaching their worth in which when that thing is not there, then they feel less worthy. They feel inferior. They feel that shame and they don't feel good about themselves. But our worth can only come from the one who created us.
Our wholeness can only come from the most perfect, the one who is complete, the one who this heart was designed to seek and derive its nourishment from. And again, of course, our life is beautified by so many things, by the people in our lives, by the people we love, by the blessings that God gives us. And we are meant to celebrate those blessings. We are meant to, you know, even wealth, right? Like if God gives you wealth, that's amazing. That's great. But what do they say? Hold it in your hand, not in your heart, right? Meaning what? Hold it in your hand, use it, enjoy it. But your heart does not be money does not complete your heart. You know, your external circumstances does not complete this heart. And so I encourage you to begin the work. If you find yourself constantly feeling a lack of groundedness, a lack of feeling sufficed, a lack of feeling enough, begin taking back the power that you gave to external things to tell you your worth, to tell you your value. And I want to end with this. You are worthy just because you are the creation of God. And I'm going to give you an example. You know, if you went to a store to buy a pair of sneakers and you had two pairs of sneakers and one was an off brand and one was Nike, for example, they're both, they both look the same. They both are the same kind of sneakers and they're both the same price. Which one are you going to buy? You're going to buy the brand. Why? Because of who made it. Nike made it, right? Nike made the shoe, so that makes it valuable. So I want to ask you, who made you? Not Nike, not a person, the king of kings, Rabbil Alameen, the lord of the worlds. So then how worthy are you? If a shoe is worthy because Nike made it, then how could you not be worthy if the creator of the heavens and the earth made you? Your worth, your wholeness, your sense of feeling enough comes from attaching this heart within you to the one who designed it and to the one who is the, the only one who is most capable of sufficing it in a way that nothing else can.